A drag story hour hosted by New York Attorney General Letitia James drew supporters, protesters, and also a large police presence. That's right. Fox 5's Ashley Rodriguez has more from that event. Little Helena's mom, Christine, and her fiance, Drew, left the Drag Queen Story Hour readathon in Greenwich Village Sunday satisfied. She loves dressing up and being on like makeup and like the hair. Outside, their smiles were met with screaming. A few dozen protesters against Drag Story Hour. It's inappropriate for children. Were met by many dozens more who gathered in front of the LGBTQ Center to support it. It spreads joy. The children love it. Absent from the scene outside was Attorney General Letitia James, who hosted the event, as well as the many local Democratic office holders who didn't speak to the media or allow our cameras inside. Why did you decide to host the event? We were left trying to understand the emotion these events invoke. We don't care about drag queens. Do whatever, whatever. Drag Story Hour, the nonprofit, got its start back in 2015 in San Francisco, and since then it's opened up numerous chapters across the country, even internationally. But there has been pushback. Most recently in Arkansas, where Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders signed a new bill into law banning Story Hour from public places. This is nothing to do with with discrimination against gay people, against transgender people, or anything of this nature. This is the promotion of drag. Queen. I would be against straight porno star story hour. Police officers kept protesters apart and things peaceful. Helena's parents leaving, a bit shocked by the chaos, but pleased. The first story was really all about being anything you want to be, and I think that that's just an amazing lesson to teach to anybody. Ashley Rodriguez, Good Day New York.